guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I'm a small town girl, big town hair, and I have a story time for you <laughs> that happened yesterday. I just woke up because once after what happened happened, I was just kind of like, mm, not here for much of anything. Okay. So yesterday, um, we went and looked at some apartments, and that was cool and fun. After that, we came back. Um, we, our realtor rode, rode, drove us on motorbikes back, and I was getting ready to go out. There's like this group in Hanoi called Fem Hanoi Female Expats Meetup, and they just meet once a month to like drink and like check in, make sure everyone's here. It was really cool. There are a lot of people from like all over the world, Indonesia, Scotland, the UK, um, the United States, Canada, all over. So that was really, really cool and the girls were really nice. So because of the jet lag, it started at seven, but by like 9.30 I was done and ready to come home. So I went with my friend, or I went with um, my friend and she picked me up in a taxi. And so when it was time to go, I was just like, oh, I just wanna go, like, I don't know how to get home. And she was like, you can take this thing, it's an application called Grab. It's essentially like Uber, but it's green. So <laughs> I took a Grab, taxi um i was taking it back home everything was fine except i was super tired and just kind of not feeling it because i was i was just jet lag had hit me in the face like a brick so i'm in the uber or i'm in the grab and all of a sudden he does you know vietnamese 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 x sign points to the door vietnamese and i was like none of those seem like positive things like, there is no time when everyone goes, oh, that's a happy ex, go to the door. Like, no, that doesn't happen. So, I started speaking Spanish to him because that's always my default language. And then I realized, oh, right, it's Vietnamese. Um, so, then I just kind of, I called Andres and was like, because in my head, Andre speaks Vietnamese. Uh, that is not true. And so, by time, so I called Andre, so I'm just like, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. So I, I, I knew how much I had to pay the guy. And he was just like doing that, like, give me the money, give me the money thing, get out. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what part of town I was in. I didn't know, I didn't have internet or dad on my phone. And I was just kind of like, about to freak out. So then I was like, he was just like, you know, telling me to get out of his car. And I didn't have any other option. So I gave him 50,000 dong. Uh, it was 33,000 dong was the ride. And so he gave me back like 15. And so then I counted and I was like, well, I'm missing 2,000 dong. And so he was like, no, no, get out, get out, get out. I've dealt with this before with taxes in Costa Rica. I find that if you just like show them the simple math on an app or on like a, a calculator, they're usually like, okay, I was being a dick. Here's your extra money. So I did that and he gave me my 2000 that he was missing, but then I got out and I was just standing there in the middle street with this dress on, um, some leggings and like some patent leather, uh, whatever, it doesn't actually matter what I had on, but I had like this outfit on in the middle of the street with my purse and my cell phone by myself in Vietnam, in Hanoi, and I don't know where. So the guy was just like, go, go, go. And Andres has this little notebook. And in the notebook it says, where is the, and all those things. But I didn't have that with me because I thought it was cute to take a tiny purse and not take anything with me. Um, so I like start walking in that direction that he was pointing, even though it could have been a trap or whatever. I don't know. So I walked um, and internally I was like freaking out. But in my experience traveling, I know that you can't, like you have to be calm like you have to just remain calm so I just started walking and walking and walking and I walked for about a kilometer and then I kind of was like okay and he started hitting me like what if I'm walking the wrong direction or what if I'm walking towards something I'm not supposed to go to or what if I'm um, gonna get lost what if I never get found what if I turn into a street vendor because I never got found and I just got lost in Hanoi, Vietnam. Like all these things just started going through my head and I was freaking out. Um, and then I saw the kind of the marquee, uh, there's a place next door, like a karaoke place next door. So I saw that marquee very far in the distance, like another kilometer. So I was like, I think, I think that's the same marquee. So I started walking toward it um, and it turns out it was. And then, um, 
Andres was downstairs and I came home and I sat on the bed and I cried like a little biggity biggity because that was a very scary thing like it wasn't I, I did everything right I hadn't done anything you know too crazy it was just me trying to get home um, but you know it all worked out and I got home but it was like super scary and I just say all that to say you can't let those kind of things block your light <laughs> you can't let those kind of things like block your light or mess up your shine because you need like you like that's what happens when you travel like people will take advantage of you I am obviously not from here like obviously I'm like a penguin sitting in the middle of a desert like duh I'm not from here so you know I came home and I freaked out but you know today I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get at it again go get lost some more and try to figure out the streets because the only way you can figure out where you're going is by knowing what streets are so um while I could have just stayed at home today and cried or figured out how to buy a ticket back home because it's very overwhelming you know you just have to keep going so if anyone else is out there at the same exact point maybe not in Hanoi maybe they're in Qatar or South Africa or Ethiopia who knows if anyone out there is at the same point where they're like you know had a, a little disturbing experience just know that you can do it just keep fighting through it and it'll all be good so that's the post for today um Andres is giving me the cut sign so I guess I my time is up <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow fully showered and ready to talk to you, okay? Bye.